I know it is difficult to learn a new language. Also, it's difficult to keep your code clean. Meantime you can get messy enough with other people's code of course. But if you look at your code a few years from now it will be your nightmare. Except for some standards, which of course you should know, there are many universal rules to follow. Try to set your goal, and it's better to write than to code. Try to be as clear as possible. It's good to practice the good standards such as KISS, keep it simple stupid, dry, don't repeat yourself, solid, patterns and for some projects DDD, CQRS. Try to avoid uncommon terms when naming your variables, methods, classes, etc. What I mean is that you should try to make your code look more like a passage from a book than something that looks strange and unfamiliar. Try to avoid undefined strings and numbers, use describable constraints and variables. Remember name convention, for example it's better to use incubation period than week. All logic can be replaced by more dynamic value, or changed by business requirements, or even legal regulations. Also, it's important to agree on the same coding standards with your whole team, for instance, comments, indents, naming conventions. There are many tools for static and dynamic analyses for PHP, there is PHP stand and PHP metrics. That should be applied as an integral part of the continuous integration process. Tests are a very important thing. However, you don't have to follow those methods very strictly. While trying to apply business thinking in your test, focus on what is necessary to get done and what outcome you want to achieve. TDD has the advantage that you can think about clean code before you code. In TDD you should use interfaces, and then you can use them to create mocking frameworks. This method also provides good practice in programming, you shouldn't try to create too many injections, nor too much logic inside. BDD is more like a combination of TDD with DDD, so business logic goes first while in TDD it's crucial first to identify scenarios with cases that make a bug or positive scenario. TDD also doesn't need to be focused on business, rather it should focus on making the most of coverage. BDD needs to be more descriptive, in other words, it's more like writing than coding. Don't write crappy or chaotic code. Use clear and intention revealing names and try to put methods in places where they belong. Think about the scout of each class and what it should represent. Remember to write descriptive code and avoid something only you can understand. Try to simplify your code and make it easy to understand. The last step is continuous integration. When you check enough and all is clear then you can safely connect branches with the environment. When you are sure that your code is aligned with your standards, it's usually less stressful to deploy it. We recommend you stick to the end and watch all our videos in the playlist. Check sources of this video in the description where you can find more information. Leave the like, comment and subscribe and share it with friends that want to improve programming skills. For last advice, remember everything should be reasonable. If you decide to avoid static and global methods, it doesn't mean there couldn't be any exceptions, especially when you are tight for time. Just remember to leave property comments such as deprecation or to-do, don't make just art, everything should have reason and think about that. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.